Basketball at a fever pitch these days. Tomorrow is the day when legends are made. Indiana's best high school basketball teams will play for their class titles at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. But one team has a lot more than basketball on their minds. WRTV's Taj Simmons has the story from Selma. If you take a walk around Selma, the scars from this month's EF3 tornado are still easy to find. But among this devastation, there's still inspiration, thanks to the Wapahani boys basketball team. The Wapahani Raiders are ready for their first boys basketball state title game in school history, and people in Selma are ready to wear a whole lot of red. The town of about 750 people cheered them on as they left for state. Proud Uncle Jeff Goss took it one step further with this massive sign in his front yard. The team embodies what I believe is this community, and it's everybody working together. That bond is strong as steel after an EF3 tornado cut through Selma like a chainsaw. The sound of the freight train is legit. Kendra Waymeyer heard the storm break homes from Selma's Legion Hall. Moments after Wapahani's team broke bread at the Legion. I went back and told the coaches because the boys had just left from eating dinner. It was within minutes that it came ripping through town. The team had to stop thinking about the damage to play for their spot in the title game. On Thursday night, Friday, the boys actually wanted to go out and help clean up. They kept them focused, you know, we've got to go to Lafayette. They came back from Lafayette as semi-state champions and as role models. Little kids will walk up to them and say, hey, can I have your autograph? I think it was part of the healing. I think it done a lot for not just the, the team to go back out and, and play, but it done a lot for this community. The Wapahani boys had a long road from here to the state championship game, but their journey to Indy has given their community some joy among the chaos. For now in Selma, Taj Simmons, WRTV. Taj, thank you. Here's the schedule for tomorrow's games at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. It starts at 1030 with the 1A title game. Bethesda Christian taking on Fort Wayne Canterbury at approximately 1245. Brownstown Central versus Wapahani for the 2A title. The evening session kicks off at 6 with the 3A championship game. Scottsburg against South Bend St. Joseph. And then the nightcap at about 815. The defending state champion Ben Davis Giants will take on Fishers in the 4A championship championship.